strong. Hey there, how's it going? I'm Kim, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a 30 minute all standing knee friendly dumbbell session. This workout has two circuits, each with five exercises where we're working 45 seconds on with a 15 second recovery and we're gonna be doing each circuit for two rounds. All you need today is a set of dumbbells, so go ahead, get yourself all set up and when you're ready, we'll get started. All right, we're gonna warm it up and I'm gonna start by taking my arms all the way up, grab one wrist, give it a little pull to the side. Exhale, center, exhale those arms down. Big inhale up, grab that wrist, other side. Good. We wanna stretch out through the side of the body. Inhale, getting some movement in that upper body. Exhale. We're gonna do one more each side. Good, last one, we're gonna bring those hands to our hips and we're gonna to start to circle out our hips. So out to the side, take it back. Good, nice and slow and make it a small circle to start as we warm up. And once it starts feeling a little looser, you can take it into a bigger circle. Really hinging here, pushing that butt back. Good, pull the belly in. We're gonna go the other direction in three. And bring it up to center, push it out to the other side, take it back and around. Four left, three, Two. Good, bring it straight up. We're gonna hinge it down here, lift, kick it out to the side. Hinge here, touch the ground. If you can't touch the ground, that's all right. Just keep a slight bend in your knee. Feel that stretch in through the back of the hamstrings. Let's do one more each side. Final one. Good, we're gonna do some twists right here. So we're just gonna take our elbows back, come up on the toe, twisting through our waist, warming up those abs. Good, five, four, three. We're gonna bring the heels up, kicking our butt, stretching out our quads, arms forward and back. Good, elbows first and straighten out those arms. Three, two, and one, we're gonna switch this into some knee raises with a punch up. Push those arms up to the ceiling. Lower abdominals are pulled in. Reach. Last four, three, Good, take those feet out nice and wide, toes to the corner, slight bend in the knees, you're just gonna come down and touch the opposite toe. Good, big twist and rotation in through the waist. Stretching out those lats. Last one, bring those arms, circle them back for four, three, and one, good, we're gonna shake out our arms and I'm gonna grab one dumbbell. So we're gonna be starting with our feet a little wider than hip width. We want that dumbbell at our chest. We're gonna come up on that toe, pivot to center, other side. All right, make sure you're coming on that toe and turning that hip, otherwise you're gonna lock up the knees. Bring that weight to your chest, 
tummy strong. Two and one. Here we go. Two. Other side. Up on the toe. Good. You're gonna feel this in the shoulders. Whew, keep it going. 15 seconds. Nice work. Okay, I'm going two dumbbells on this next one. And we're gonna do a sumo deadlift. So starting with our toes out again, we're gonna have those weights in front of us. We're gonna hinge forward into a deadlift. So right here, deadlift, clean, reverse grip press, release. Hinge at your hips, snap it up, turn those wrists in, lift, good. <sighs> Tummy strong. You want those wrists, wrists pointing towards you the whole time. Inhale here, clean it up, reverse grip up. Five seconds. All right, picking up a single dumbbell again, and I wouldn't go too heavy with this one because we're gonna do some lateral raises. So we're gonna do a hammer curl with a knee raise, then out to the side with the leg and the arm. Strong core, here we go. Hammer curl, knee raise, out to the side, good. Don't bring that arm any higher than shoulder height. You want a slight bend in the elbow. Squeeze those glutes. Don't just flail that leg out. You want it nice, slow, and controlled. Nice work. We got about 10 seconds. Then we're gonna do this on the other side. And we have one more exercise in this circuit, so we'll repeat that. <sighs> okay, other side. So we're getting some balance in here. If you need to tuck that toe to the floor in between the knee raise and the extension, do so. You wanna keep that body nice and straight through your center. Here we go. Knee raise, out to the side. Keep breathing. You wanna get that oxygen to those working muscles. Extend. Inhale, exhale. Two, and one. Okay, single dumbbell. I'm gonna go a little heavier with this one. I'm gonna do a single dumbbell swing. So my feet are a little bit wider than hip width, toes forward. I'm gonna bring it up, knee raise, knee raise. Are you ready? Here we go, swing, and knee raise. Back to the swing. You wanna hinge at that hip in your swing. Keep that core strong. How you doing? Okay, take a rest. We're taking that from the top. Whew. So that corner to corner. 
Shake out those arms. I get another 15 seconds. So remember, on that press, up on the toe, turn your hips. All right, press, center, press, center, other side. You know what to do? Let's go. That rapid pace will burn out those shoulders. You've got it, 15 seconds. Stay strong, right to the end. Press, 10 seconds. Whew, how are you doing? We've got that sumo deadlift. Toes out, wrist pointing in. We're gonna hinge forward. Clean it, reverse grip, press up. Belly in, here we go. Clean, press. Single dumbbell, hammer curl knee raise, lateral raise with the arm, and adduction for the leg. Two, and here we go, lift out to the side. Curl, raise. Oh, we gotta do the other side. How are you doing? Two more on this circuit, and we're moving on to five new exercises. <sighs> nice deep breath, roll those shoulders back. Two. Here we go, raise and out. Swing with the knee drives. Whew. Last one. Toes forward, feet a little wider than hip width, but start with that weight overhead. Slight bend in through your knees. Here we go, swing it. Good. Knee drives right here for two.
take a rest. Nice job. All right, grab some water. We're moving on. We're gonna start with a single dumbbell and we're gonna do some snatches. So a lot of these moves that we're doing incorporates every muscle in the body. So I'm gonna be starting with a dumbbell in between my feet. We're gonna be hinging, keeping our knees slightly bent and we're gonna lift and pull down other side. Here we go. Good, keep that back straight. Pull, squeeze the glutes. Lock that shoulder in, back down. Okay, lightening up, single dumbbell again. We're gonna start with the weight overhead, toe out to the side. We're going to go into an abduction, so bring the leg towards us as we curl or extend with the arms, working the triceps. Good. Forward with the heel, flex that foot, out to the side. Out. Standing leg is doing some work. Four. Good. Okay, next one. We're gonna do the same thing with the leg, other side. This time we're gonna press forward and we're gonna work the chest. All right, leg out. Grab that weight at chest. Tummy strong. Forward. Out. Good. Wood shop. We got one each side and we're taking that circuit from the top. We're almost through this. So we're going to have the weight at our shoulders. You're going to be up on the toe. You're going to turn, pivot through the hip, lift. Good. Pull the belly in. Now you can take this a little higher if you want, but if your shoulders have had enough, keep that weight right at shoulder height. The alternative is big swing. And the idea is squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abdominal muscles right here. Okay, we gotta do the other side. Whew. Getting a sweat on. Up on the toe the other side. Weight up at the shoulder or higher. Your choice. Here we go. Turn, pivot. Option.
10 seconds. <sighs> All right, take a rest. We're taking that from the beginning. Placing that weight in between your feet. We're gonna do that alternate snatch one more time through this circuit, then we're gonna do a stretch. We got five seconds. Are you ready? Hinge it here, grab that weight, pull. Okay, overhead with that weight. <sighs> Working those triceps. Arm up, leg out. Remember, we're bringing it my leg front and forward as we extend with the arms here, here, and out. You can even do a balance or you can tuck the toe. So if you're working balance, leg stays out. <sighs> Kick. Almost there. Okay. Other side. This time with the press. Toe out. Weight at your chest. Tummy strong. Here we go. Press out. Okay, wood chop. Each side, this is it. Final two exercises. Right at shoulder or higher. Are you ready? Here we go. Chop.
is. All right, weight to the ground. Nice work, how'd you do? All right, shake out that body. We're gonna stretch it out. All right, let's take a deep breath, reach it up. Exhale those arms down. Good, inhale up. Exhale, this time we're gonna come down with a nice straight back. Place your hands on the floor, toes are front. So I'm gonna walk those feet a little wider. Point the heels out, toes in. Good, walk your hands to one side. Let's take it to the other side. Bring it back to center. From here, one hand stays center. We're gonna do a little twist, reach that arm up. And switch sides. And bring both hands back down, walk the feet back together. And then just roll it up nice and slow. Bring the shoulders up, back and down. We're gonna stretch out the quads. So grab onto one foot, bring the knee in, push your hip forward, take a nice deep breath in. Use that foot to press away from the body. So pushing into your hand. Good, let's pull it a little bit back. Get a little deeper into that hip flexor now. So you're pulling that knee away and behind you. And then take that foot forward, toe up. You're gonna hinge here. This is gonna bring it into the calf a little deeper. So toes pulling towards you, good. Really lifting that tailbone up, getting that stretch in through the glutes. We'll lift it up. We're gonna do the other side. So starting with the knee, right in line with the other knee, push your hip forward, push that foot into your hand. Good, pull the knee away. Heel comes forward, hinge it here. Good. Lift it up, take those hands up overhead. We're gonna take it over to one side. And over to the other side. Let's bring it center, bring the hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, opening up through that chest. You wanna pull the hands away from your back if you can. Good, now look up. Great job, release the hands. Bring them in front, one on top of the other, crossing at the elbows. and take it so the other arm is on top. And release the arm straight down beside you. You're gonna take your chin, look over one shoulder, drop your chin, press the opposite hand to the floor, getting that stretch in through the neck. Big inhale. Good, take it over to the other side. Bring it center, drop your chin, look up, bring it to center, inhale the arms up, exhale them down. That's it, you did it. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. That's it for me today. You take care and I'll see you on the next one.